What's up YouTube world? In this video, I am going to overvolt this iPhone. Or, with another word, I am going to kill it. I have an iPhone 6 and you will see something like this later in this video. Or this? Yeah, you got what I mean. To do this I need a power supply and I provided a simple power supply to this project and can deliver 32 volt like a maximum volt and you need a cable to connect the iPhone to the power supply and we need an iPhone of course and not forgetting the tool to open the device usually an iPhone can handle between 3.7 volt and up to 4.2 volt but you know we are going to find out so no more talking Let's get started. So the phone can take between 3.7 volt up to 4.2 volt to boot normally and I started nice and easy with 4 volt and nothing really happens, the phone boot normally, touching working, so I increase the volt directly above the normal voltage which take me to 4.3 volt. The phone still working when I increase the voltage, so from now on I'm going to increase the voltage with 0 0.1 volt to see how the phone will react to it. So we reached 4.4 volt and nothing really happened again. The phone still working, the touch still working. Yeah, pretty normal. So we will increase it again. The voltage reached 4.7 volt and the phone had no problem with it. But in the next increment at 4.8 volt, the phone did shut down as you see. I thought I killed the phone at this moment, but the phone went in the boot loop and that was normal, I guess, because of uh, the voltage increment. But as you see, the phone boot normal again and I will continue to increase the voltage. Okay, let's be honest here. The phone did reach 5.9 volt and still running normally. And that's insane. Well, everything have a limitation. And at this point, the phone had a limitation at 6 volt, which did kill the phone in the end when the voltage reached above 6 volt, as you see. Uh, but I'm really impressive. However, the phone did a great job was able to uh, survive above 5 volt and that's crazy for me well since I killed the motherboard I was thinking about shocking it again with 32 volts that's the maximum what my power supply can do and see how the motherboard will react for it so I'm starting by removing the lithium battery from the housing because I don't want to put my house on fire Lithium battery can be very dangerous and can start fire very easily.
Alright people, as you see, the high voltage did drill a hole into the motherboard and making it unfixable for lifetime. And this is the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the bell icon on to get all my notifications. See ya very soon.